Welcome back to details. Foreign Minister Samah Shukri delivers a message from President Sisi to Qatari Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani on Tuesday, which included an invitation to visit Egypt. Foreign Ministry spokesman Ambassador Ahmed Hafiz said the message also includes valuing the importance of coordination to boost bilateral ties in the coming phase. Adding, the message expressed hope to continue with the reciprocal steps for cooperation mechanisms to strengthen bilateral ties within the framework of Al Ula statement. Hafiz said the Qatari Emir asked Shukri to deliver his greetings to President Sisi and expressed appreciation for positive developments on bilateral ties. The meeting discussed the latest developments on regional and international fronts and boosting coordination between the two sides in light of the current Qatari chairmanship of the Arab League Council. Hafiz said boosting joint Arab action, Arab security and stability were also discussed during the meeting. Meanwhile, Shukri attended the extraordinary session of the Arab and foreign investors in Qatari capital Doha. The meeting held upon the request of Cairo and Khartoum focused on developments of the Ethiopian dam. Earlier on Monday, Shukri met his Qatari counterpart, Sheikh Mohammed Abdul Rahman Al Thani, in Doha. During the visit to Qatari, Shukri met with Qatari Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, during which he delivered a message from President Sisi regarding the positive developments of the Egyptian Qatari relations. On the sidelines of the Arab ministers' meeting in Doha, Foreign Minister Sameh Shukri met with Libya's Minister for Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Negla Elman Oush. The two ministers discussed developments in Libya and agreed on pushing forward measures and steps approved within the political process to hold Libyan elections by December. The top diplomats also discussed details of Libyan Foreign Minister's upcoming visit to Cairo as part of ongoing consultations between the two neighboring countries on all levels. On the behalf of President Abdel Fattah Sisi, Minister of Agriculture and Land Reclamation, Al Sayyid Al Qasir delivered Egypt's speech before the United Nations high level dialogue on desertification. The minister asserted that Egypt warns against obstruction giant projects for the equitable distribution of water adding that this poses a threat to the process or the success of programs to combat drought and affect development programs and food production. al Qasir said that Egypt stresses the importance of evaluating the progress achieved in combating desertification and neutralizing land degradation and drought and stresses the need to encourage a proactive approach to reduce the risks and effects of desertification. Prime Minister Mustafa Mabouli said on Tuesday the government is continuing with providing good atmosphere for investment. Mabouli said there are files that are being settled consecutively during the meeting of the current cabinet. The Prime Minister was speaking during a meeting bringing together Mabouli and the Saudi Minister of Trade and Industry, Megid Al Qasabqi, and the accompanying delegation. Mabouli said the Saudi delegation's visit aims at boosting distinguished ties between the two countries. He said a joint committee, including officials from both countries, have settled on a number of problems that faced investors. He said he is looking forward to boosting cooperation between the two Saudi investment fund and the Egyptian sovereign fund. For his part, the Saudi minister said Egypt is witnessing development on positive activities and that there is seriousness in overcoming obstacles. The talks were held on the sidelines of the visit of the Saudi delegation to Cairo to take part in the 17th round of Egyptian-Saudi Joint Trade Committee. During her visit to Geneva, Minister of Health Dr. Hella Zaid is to meet the General Director of the COVAX facility affiliated to the GAVI, the Global Vaccine Alliance, at the UN Permanent Headquarters in the Egyptian Embassy. The meeting discussed means of boosting cooperation with a number of international and UN organizations. During the meeting, they thanked COVAX for providing COVID-19 vaccines for Egypt, while production is still scarce. She said Egypt will receive around 1.9 million vaccine doses in the coming days. Earlier, Minister Zaid met head of the Grants Department of the Global Fund for Combating HIV, AIDS, Malaria and Tuberculosis. She thanked the fund for supporting Egypt's health sector. Zaid reviewed efforts to fight malaria in Egypt and means of employing Egyptian expertise in the fight against the disease for the benefit of the Nile Basin and Victoria Lake countries. 
The meeting also discussed the possibility of producing TBN, HIV AIDS medicines in Egypt, Egyptian factories and exporting them to other countries. Head of the National Media Authority, Hassin Zain, met with Jordanian Minister of State for Media Affairs, Engineer Sakhr Marwan Dodin, on Tuesday. The meeting tackled a proposal of producing a drama work of art that reflects the history of the two nations. To be distinguished document that enables youth and coming generations to get acquainted with the two civilizations, including cultures and norms. The pair reviewed means of consolidating bilateral ties in various media fields, including protocols of bilateral cooperation and training to exchange expertise. Zayn stressed the significance of expanding cooperation with the Jordanian side with the aim of achieving positive economic and professional outcomes. He referred to the importance of continuous coordination between Egypt and Jordan at media coverage for important events. He also referred to fruitful cooperation between the two sides in the media field, including the distinguished program Beit, el, Beit Lil Kul, or A Home for All. For his part, the Jordanian minister hailed Egyptian media, especially the drama that contributes to modeling awareness and feelings for the Arab nation. A Palestinian ministerial delegation headed by Deputy 